Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to install ChillW3.0.3 which is the most current version as of now and I'll show you how you can use this with Xcode 5. So first we need a couple of things. So first go to ChillW.org and click on download. This will download the most current version of ChillW for you. Next go to CMake.org. Um, CMake is a small little program you can use to compile your uh, C++ source files and we'll need this. Uh, make sure to download the Mac OS X 64-bit version right here. Choose any of these. Finally, you need Xcode 5 of course, which you can simply get for free of the Mac App Store. Uh, open the GW folder that you just downloaded so CMake needs a place to build its files and a good place for that is simply in the chillw folder. So simply create a new folder and call this build. Now open up CMake. So CMake needs uh, two things to do it work. First it's needs, um, it needs a special file namely the CMake lists.txt file. So simply take this file out of the chillw folder and drag it to here. Then it needs also it also needs a place to build its binaries. So simply take your build folder and drag it also, or simply type slash build like this. Okay. When you've done that, you can press on configure and use and make sure this is Xcode by default and use default native compilers and make sure you have Xcode installed of course click on none let's see make do its work okay so now we have all of these settings um, the only setting I highly recommend is this is this one uh, build shared lips uh, and what this will do is it will make a uh, it will, this will make a dynamic library instead of, instead of a static library. Now, don't click on generate but on configure. This will uh, uh, save our change here. So configure and then only press on generate. And we're done. Now one more thing. Press on command shift G and make sure you, you have your slash user so USR and um, this is a hidden folder, so you will need to need permissions to access it. Now, in this folder, you should have a folder named local. If you don't have this folder, I recommend you make it. Uh, and then, in this folder, you should have at least uh, two things. You should have an include and a lib. Uh, again, if you don't have those folders, make them. So, include and lib. If you have them, do nothing. I return to your shellw folder and click on the build file just made and instead of, and in here you will have a shellw xcode project and click on it. Now in xcode you have all sorts of targets but what we want is the install target so go here up top and select the install and make sure it is the max 64 bit version and the other the targets are simply some examples. Uh, what this target will do it will install Shell W for us and also give us the, the, the uh, dynamic library. So simply do run and we're done. Uh, by the way, the errors you get are no issue to us. Uh, some functionality in, Shell, in, uh, in OpenGL is kind of old, but yeah, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't really matter to us. Now, back in your build folder, go to the source. GLF uh, and, and debug and here is your dialib. Huh. So now uh, do do one thing first. Uh, I recommend changing, changing the name to um, to libgelw3 uh, just if you have an older version of shellw installed this will make it easier to use. Um, then copy it so uh, copy then, uh, then do uh, command shift G uh, to go to slash user, then go to local, and then go to lib, 
and you can paste it here. Okay, and that was it. Uh, now I'll show you one thing. In include, we have now a folder called chillw, and in here we have all of the header files and chillw3 native div.h, which we can also use. I have to use this in Xcode, I'll create a new Xcode project. And be sure to make it a command line tool in C and name it something like test jlw. Click on next and save it somewhere as yes, a matter of error. Then, first, in your project manager, go to build phases, uh, link binary with libraries. And you have to add two libraries. The first one is the OpenGL library, which is available on all Macs to add. And the second one is R library, so R libgw. So for that, simply uh, click on Add Under, press Command Shift G, go to the User folder, User, uh, User Local, include, uh, sorry, lib, and then search for your GLW3 dialib. So libgw3 point dialib, and add it also. Um, then we're not done. Go to build settings. Yeah, go to build settings uh, of the target and scroll down till you see search pads. And we have to add now a couple of search pads. First, the header search pads. So double click and add slash user slash local slash include and this will give uh, a file path to the uh, glabw folder in the include folder which contains the headers oops so simply then press on enter and we're done then the library search paths are basically the same simply do slash user slash local slash lib enter and we're done let's double check and yeah, then go to your main.cpp file. And this is the code from the DHLW uh, website. Simply paste it in here. I'll give a link in the description so you can get this code. Um, one small thing actually, I'll make one modification. Um, in this while loop here, right here, uh, please type gl clear gl underscore color buffer bit. Uh, this isn't necessary, but it will make it this a little bit prettier. Okay, then simply press on run and you'll get a black screen so it's working. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you and yeah, enjoy working with OpenGL and GLW.